Sociology and psychology are very similar in that they are both social sciences. Social scientists like me, I'm a medical sociologist, use the scientific method to study people. Psychologists study differences between individuals. So a psychologist is going to zero in on those individual characteristics like our personality, our chemical makeup, our likes and dislikes, our childhood traumas and other experiences. And sociologists study differences between groups to learn more about the social structure of a given society or community. So in sociology, when we discover differences between groups, we're really looking at social factors. Social factors are part of our individual social location, and those include things like our age, race, gender, socioeconomic status, religion, sexuality, our marital status, our level of education, those social categories that we fit into. Remember, sociology is not about predicting individual behavior or explaining individual behavior. So we're not saying that you are similar to other people that share your social location. The whole goal is to study differences by social factor with a given behavior or health outcome to learn more about the social structure of that society. So in other words, when we analyze something like the health outcome of life expectancy and we find that there are big gaps among different racial groups or among different genders, that's telling us something about society. It's not really telling us something about those individual people. So remember that sociology is about differences between groups. It's about studying social factors and it's about studying community level factors. When we study community level factors, we're typically looking at social institutions. Social institutions are the building blocks of society. Social institutions meet the needs of people in society. They're all the systems that we have in society. The educational system, the political system, systems of religion, the economic system, the criminal justice system, industries that we have, media, even science and technology. All of these social institutions are aspects of society that sociologists study, particularly when we're studying societies and understanding differences between different societies. We oftentimes look at the differences in the social institutions to determine why there may be differences in other trends that we can observe in society. So if you're interested in the big picture and you want to get into a field where you're really analyzing a group of people and you're trying to make organizational or community level changes, you might gravitate towards sociology. If you're interested in individual differences, mental health, and wanting to work one-on-one -on -one with people, you may gravitate more towards psychology. For me, as a population health professor, I like to merge the two. Merging psychology and sociology gives us a deeper understanding of the world around us and how it affects us psychologically. The more we learn about sociology, our society, and our culture, it can be very overwhelming. And the more we also need to tune into our individual mental health and use the tools in psychology to help us navigate living in such a society.